First thing we want to do is on the inner fastener is an eccentric which gives you your adjustment. That would be your alignment for the toe. First thing you want to do is make a mark on that so you can get it relatively close to the factory setting. And then we're going to pop off these fasteners which hold our sensor line in place. Then you're going to locate the outer fastener which fastens the toe link to the aluminum housing spindle and then the inner which you've already marked which is attached to the uh, carrier at its mounting points. I'll break it loose with this wrench and then I'll get a ratchet wrench up in there because it is a considerably long bolt. Remove the eccentric. Okay, one of the next thing you want to do is after you uh, take your adjustable toe link out of the box, um, comes pre-assembled, but it's not adjusted to the specific length needed to keep you within compliance of the factory toe setting. So what I have done here is I'm going to use the factory toe link, the static toe link, as a template. These are the two fasteners that I removed from the vehicle. And then what I'm going to do is adjust my toe link until it's the same length and see how it drops right over those bolts. Then I'm going to fasten it in place with these lock nuts and they will hold it at that length for us. So once it is installed back on the vehicle, we are going to be compliant with the manufacturer part. Okay, these are right and left hands threads on here. And I'm going to snug it up now. Once it's installed in the vehicle, I'm really going to torque those down. And there you go. Now we're going to reinstall the tow link back into the vehicle. And I'm going to install it with the grease fittings facing down for the obvious uh, that we can service this periodically uh, while it's on the vehicle. So we're going to fit it back up in there. Then we're going to use the factory supplied fastener. Place our eccentric. Bring it around close to our original location. And we won't fully adjust that till we snug up our fastener on the outboard side. Okay, now we're going to tie this back up with some plastic zip ties, wire ties, and that installation is complete.